Hi, I'm John Herschel, President of the Board of Trustees for the Cortland Rural Cemetery. I'm standing here on uh, Sunday, May 20th, 2013. It's been kind of a, a, an overcast kind of day where the rain's been threatening, and when that happens, we get a little concerned at the cemetery because our roofs leak. Uh, behind me is our office building, and on the other side of that is our garage, and about 50 feet that direction, due south, I guess, would be our superintendent's house. All, through, all of those structures were put up um, and in 1929 and designed by a guy named Carl C. Clark, who's a renowned architect, particularly in this region, he put up some important structures besides these, including the Cortland uh, Free Library, Randall School, and some others. Um, again, put up in 1929, it's a beautiful structure. It's kind, kind of got a, a Tudor style, which is actually very attractive, and very pretty. And if you look above the woodwork on the, the, the face of the, uh, the structure, and what we're focusing on here is the, is the, uh, the roof. The cool thing about the roof is it's a uh, Vermont slate, which is the best kind of slate you can use in roof systems. It's uh, the original roof. The thing about the slate is it's holding in there and it still looks beautiful and we could get some more years out of it, but the problem is the copper system underneath the roof is leaking and has been deteriorating for many decades. So uh, you can see a little bit of it right there, the valley running down the, down, down the roof. This flashing here is, is kind of uh, giving out and starting to deteriorate as well. So basically all of the copper work needs to be replaced in order for us to get another 50 or 100 years out of this system. So um, we've launched a campaign called Save the Slate, which is a fundraising campaign. We're trying to raise as much money as we can to pay for this, uh, this renovation. It's probably gonna be $30,000 plus if we use a, a, a trained and expert slate uh, contractor. So the process basically involves taking off as much of the slate as they need to, ex to expose the copper, replace the copper, put the slate back on very carefully, and, uh, and then we'll have a, a great new roof system essentially back in place again. So uh, in a minute I'm going to walk you inside, we're going to show you some of the damage. And the damage inside is an issue because we've got one-of-a-kind maps, we've got one-of-a-kind records, we've got a, a, all kinds of office equipment in there to keep the operation running. Uh, on the other side, as I indicated, we've got the, uh, the facility where we keep our equipment for mowing and whatnot. But that stuff starts to uh, deteriorate. Some of it would be lost, potentially the records could be lost permanently, and that's a major issue. So uh, we're going to step inside, and I'll show you some more uh, where the damage is happening and, uh, and try to demonstrate the import of this campaign and why your contribution could be very valuable to us. So we'll step inside. Thanks. Okay, so we're in the cemetery office, which is a beautiful old structure, and we're trying to make some great improvements upon it, including changing out the floor, putting in some hardwood floors, painting, all kinds of improvements as time and money allow. Um, but one of the problems, of course, with a structure of this age is that when it leaks, it, you can damage all of the stuff, all the improvements you're trying to make. So um, we did some painting. Um, about a year ago and it's already started to be damaged by the roof I just spoke about outside so you can see up here um, it, the water is coming in if you know if you own an old house this is not probably something that's uh, unusual to you water comes in old houses and this is essentially what it looks like you know first the, the plaster bubbles and uh, breaks and then the, the, the paint starts to crackle and come down so um, so obviously when water's coming in, that's a, a, a dangerous thing for the, uh, uh, the walls, it's dangerous for the floors, it's not good for the uh, substructure, you know, the, the, uh, the studs, etc. behind the walls. So obviously that's not a good thing, and that's just one example of the damage. I'm going to show you another one in a second, thanks. And uh, one of the other prominent spots where the water is coming in is essentially this, this stack here, which is the chimney. Um, and if you can follow the camera up. You can see the water again is coming right into, uh, it's leaking around the chimney and the flashing up above the roof. So, and the flashing is uh, an example of some of the copper that needs to be replaced. Like I say, the valleys have to be changed out, the flashing around uh, the entire edge of the, of the uh, structure, all of the stuff around the, uh, the, uh, the gables and around the, the, uh, the chimney, all of that stuff has to be changed out and has to be, um, you know, the slate has to be removed very carefully from those copper spots. Then the copper gets changed and then the slate's basically put back in place and uh, only a, a really good slate expert should be handling that kind of uh, project which is why one of the reasons it's costly. The other reason it can be costly is because the copper itself is very expensive. So um, obviously as I indicated before that the, the name of this campaign, it's a big initiative for us. It's called Save the Slate. If you can contribute any amount of money, um, we'd be happy to accept that with, a, with, a, with you know, graciously and with a lot of thanks. 
Um, we are also offering naming opportunities, so if you want to make a big gift, uh, we can do something along those lines. We can name either part of the facility or the facility itself in your name. And anybody who gives uh, above $250 is going to be entered on our uh, memorial plaque for the campaign, so you'll, your name will be uh, uh, you know, included in that plaque, and um, again, as another form of appreciation. So. Anyway, give it, a, give it some consideration. We'd love you to have you contribute to our Save the Slate campaign. It's a, they're beautiful structures, the roofs are beautiful, the slate is beautiful, and um, we'd hate to see them uh, have to be replaced and lost in, in the coming years because we couldn't raise enough funds to actually solve the problem. So again, thanks as usual for listening and uh, take it easy, bye.